What's going on YouTube world? Future Moon for Christ here, and I got some news for you that, honestly, I really wish was better. Um, I just wa watched a video of White Boy 7th Street, and if you haven't heard already, uh, he got robbed, basically. No other way to put it. I'm sorry. They took his Xbox, Xbox. they took his PlayStation 3, his flashing TV, 40 bucks from what it looked like, and they desecrated his mother's memorial that he had there. That is a freaking low blow. If you're watching this, you have no balls whatsoever. And I hope that God is looking at you like, why? Why have you insulted me, son? And quite frankly, it it irritates me. I'm I'm sorry, white boy, but I'm sorry. We we're all here with you, dude. We got you back. That's what we're here for. You're in my prayers. The whole school with we're with you. You said not to give you a donation fund, but we'll try and help you in any way, shape, or form. Um, maybe a little bit hard through the geographical forms of it. I'm in Pennsylvania. I don't know where you're at, but we're here for you, buddy. We're always are. Gamers are gamers. We're here for you. Gamers help gamers. People help people. Okay? Now, quite frankly, I, I, I watched the video up to the point where White Boy is showing his parents' memorial, and he started to cry. I'm sorry. That's that's not on me. That's completely... He's showing his emotion. Okay? If you think, oh, he's, he's being a faggot or whatever, then you honestly have no soul or emotion when you lose someone close to you it hurts i know this a lot and when someone's hurt that's close to you or whatsoever it hurts you big time so if you like this like this for the sake of white boy like this for justice like this for white boy's parents. Now, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to get likes. I'm not trying to get views. I'm not trying to get subscribers. Subscribers. I'm trying to help a man out. He's going through a rough patch, and we should help him. That's all I got to say. So if you're going to leave a mean comment, I'm going to report you. I don't freaking care if you think I'm being evil or whatever. You need to grow up. Honestly, a way to kick a guy while he's down. It's like, all right, what do we got here? All right, Jim, what do we got? We got his PlayStation 3. We got all of his stuff all over his floor. We got his flat screen TV. We, what else can we do? Oh, let's see. Oh, there's a Pirates Memorial. Let's wreck it. Way to kick a guy while he's down. Way to freaking go. But, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave, if you're not familiar with White Boy 7th Street, I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, well, on my wolf ch uh, channel, either if you want to post it on my Facebook wall, not my personal Facebook wall, the channel Facebook wall, or the chan the video itself, or my channel itself, go ahead and do that, and then we'll all we'll all offer White Boy up White Boy Seventh Street up in prayer to God, and he will do what he does. Now I know what you're all thinking. Oh, what's this guy got to do? He he's not being real. Well, really, there. I'm trying to think of a parable right off the top of my head. I don't have the whole Bible memorized, so if you're going to rant on me like, oh, you're a Christian, you don't have a Bible memorized. Well, yes, I'm only in ninth grade. You can't have too much for me. I mean, honestly, I've put up content. I've put up videos that you've all liked, so please just bear with me here. But the Bible does state that we should help a fam like to explain this better we are all brothers and sisters in Christ we all come from one biological tree I will explain that in a later video all maybe tomorrow but quite frankly we're supposed to help a brother or sister who is in need Jesus did that he did Jesus did that Peter did that believe um, but the one thing that Jesus did for us that we no longer have to worry about is he died for us. He died for every one of us. He died for you. He died for the kid next to you. He died for the person who 
is our next door neighbor. He died for every single person who is, who was, and is to come. Now, quite frankly, I know what you're probably thinking. It's like, oh, and he's dead, and great whoop. New Christians are so morbid. Wrong. He, he foretold his death. He came down knowing he would die on a cross. A wooden cross. Which back in those days is like, Ah, oh, you're 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 the highest criminal. We're gonna kill you on a tree and be really slow and painful. Yeah, that was the worst way to go. But he did it. The entire Bible references it. It's called foreshadowing, literary device. But he died, so we could have life eternally, not on earth, but in heaven. And the one thing he said was I will destroy the temple and in three days I will rebuild it he was using a metaphor there he was not going to destroy a temple to God, his father and then rebuild it in three days, it took a lot of people over the course of thousands of years to build it over the time of Israel he was referring to himself, he was the temple he died on the cross. They buried him. Not like traditional. But they wrapped his body up. Put some incense over it. Kind of like today's preserving. Put him in the side of a hill. And rolled a giant three ton stone in front of it. And put, the little, put a little sign that said King Jesus, King of the Jews. And had two, count them, two or four. I believe it's four. Had four Roman guards stand out there and... If they fell asleep, they died. And on the third day of him being dead, it's Passover, he's walking around. It's Passover, people go to bury go, uh, the women go. He wasn't married, but anyway, the w women who followed him from his ministries went to put more incense on him. And the stone was the stone was rolled away three tons. That's a lot of pounds. That's six thousand pounds today. And all of the soldiers were either they were basically on the floor unconscious, and they had looked inside the tomb, and the linens that they had wrapped him in were folded neatly, and he was not there. And then he and Jesus, the guy who was supposedly dead. And in that tomb, was supposed to be in that tomb, at least, appeared to them and say, Why are you? It's like, who do you seek? I'm here. Go tell my, go, go tell the disciples. He had 12 of them. Disciples were the people who followed him. So people like James, John, Peter, uh, Jesus Scary was dead. But the main point is, Jesus died for our sins, and we should thank him for that, and if you have any personal questions, just send me a personal message. No problem. But we really should be at least thinking of White Boy 7th Street in this time. He's going through a rough patch. He has houses trashed. People have desecrated, desecrated, dishonoring his dead parents who died when he was 18 and 20. I still have both my parents because I'm lucky like that. God has provided me with that, so he has kept my parents with me. But... What we should be doing is we should be thinking of him, we should be praying for him, and furthermore, we should be supporting him. So, comment on this comment on this video. I'm gonna put it as a ref a video response or whatever it is on that video. But we're we're here for you, white boy. If you're ever watching this, we're here for you, buddy. Don't know if you know who I am, but I know who you are, and you're with, and I'm praying for you. So, if you like this, go subscribe to White Boy. Go subscribe, go like, go favorite, go subscribe. I'm not gonna ask for you to do that this video because that would seem selfish, and that is kind of selfish for me. Like, hey, if you like this video, like, favorite, and comment. On it's basically like it's self promoting when a guy's down. We need to help him. So, uh, signing off. Go subscribe to White Boy. Link will be in the description down below. And also, I'll have a link down to my Facebook wall down the link. If you don't have Facebook, I don't have Twitter, so you're a bit out of luck there. So, 